Coach, just talk about today's game. Uh, it's, you get these every now and then, but the last time uh, Tillerson was here, it was a struggle. Mm -hmm. Today, it was a pretty much a total. Uh, it was totally different. Let's talk about what has gone going on with the mentality of the girls right now. I think today really was about getting confidence going into the conference season, and um, you know we we've talked the last few practices about how we need everybody to contribute. And we haven't had that the last few games. So the big focus was everybody being a threat offensively um, and taking care of business on the defensive end. Um, and it was really nice to see, you know, five people in double figures without playing our three leading scorers. Um, and, you know, that wasn't the intention at the start of the game. But as the game went on, it was obvious we didn't need to use those three. You play a lot of minutes, so it was nice to be able to rest them. Talk about. I hadn't talked to you since you had the uh, your road win um, in, at UTEP. Okay. What yeah. was that like? Um, it was like watching a different team. You know, I mean, like that was the team that we knew was there, um, and we played so hard, um, and so it was such a positive experience for us on the road to get that win. Um, but then we came back from that and we dipped really badly, and so. Our focus after the break was let's get back to that. Let's get back to where we know we can be. Um, and I think the girls did a good job, particularly our bench players today who really stepped up, of showing that they want it. Because that, that had kind of slipped a little bit after that UTEP win. So it was nice to see the passion for the game there again today. When you get that much confidence on a team, practices are different. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot more things and get a lot more things accomplished. How has that gone on between the UTEP game and today? Um, you know, we're, we're big believers and listen to our players. And so, you know, we know when they're tired and we know when they're ready to, to step up and, and give us a good practice. And um, I think we've been able to do some things that we, had, we hadn't been able to do prior to the UTEP game with certain personnel because some people really stepped up. I think Ashley Nwanguma really showed us that she can compete in those type games because she's so physical on the glass. And that was a huge bonus for us in that game, was, was really the emergence of her um, on the defensive end. Um, and, you know, I think some of the things that we've done in practice, rebounding-wise, have really paid off for us. Um, we out-rebounded them again today by 20, and our rebounding margin this season has been much better than last year, and that has, was a focus for us. So, you know, proving that we could do things in that UTEP game and on the road win at Texas State has allowed us to continue to push them. Like, hey, you did it. You've shown you can do it. So let's not slip up every day in practice now. We've got to continue to do those things. The other thing I noticed today, the communication was better. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't as, it wasn't a lot, but it was enough to, in situations, they realized, like, okay, there can't be a letdown. Right. You know, just because we're up, yeah. Do, we can't let the team get, a, get confidence and get back into the game. Yeah, and I think, you know, a little bit of that, really was because these kids knew they were going to play a bunch of minutes. Sometimes it's actually really tough when you're trying to play 14 or 15 kids mm -hmm. in these games and people are going in and out to get that, you know, to continue that intensity. Um, but these kids knew they were going to play. And I'll credit Emily Lopez today. I mean, Emily doesn't play um, usually for us. And she went in today and she used her five fouls and she hustled and she played so hard because she knew she was being given an opportunity. And so... Um, you know, I think those kids that were out there knew this was their shot and they had to take it. Now you get the, all of this sets up for conference play. You got another road game, mm -hmm. Texas Tech, mm -hmm. then you start conference play. Let's talk about what you are looking to accomplish first on the road and then the first week in conference. So, I mean, the Tech game is obviously going to be a challenge for us because they're 9 0 at home and, you know, they, they definitely have. Uh, hit a little stride now um, up in Lubbock but I think you know we've looked at a lot of their film and it's a game that we're really going to have to get contributions from everybody if we can win the game and I think it's a winnable game if we get that which is why we use today um, to prove to our kids that they could contribute on the offensive end um, so we're going to really have to be um, doing a lot of things off the ball at Tech and being threats off the ball so our cuts have to be sharper um, our seals have to be much stronger than they have been against some of the teams we've played recently. Um, and that's what we wanted to prove to our kids today. Um, then against Northwestern at home here, um, you know, 
we should have a size advantage advantage against Northwestern. Um, but we have to take care of the ball better. And that was one of our focuses today. Um, it was slightly better, but still not where we want it to be. Um, so, you know, over the next couple of games, we've got to prove that we can take care of the ball a little bit better. And I think Megan Shank today um, had a great game, you know, played 36 minutes, had no turnovers, and, and really stepped up and showed what we see every day in practice. Um, so now you know, we're hoping that she'll be able to continue that and give TJ some rest at the point guard spot and take care of the ball a little better for us. The other thing I've been talking about is in the podcast, um, players are, are being recognized at HBU uh, on the, uh, in the Southland this year. You had a couple of uh, players of the week. Yep. Uh, just talk about what that has done as far as building team camaraderie and team confidence. Yeah, and I think, you know, obviously Shanice gets a lot of attention because Shanice is such a great mm -hmm. player. Um, but she has she has now got support round about her from various different people. And I think, you know, Monet has had a couple of outstanding games this year and um, has finally realised that she can be a huge mm -hmm. offensive threat for us. But she does such a great job defensively. I mean, last year, Monet was our best uh, defensive presence because she covers so much ground from the help position. Um, she takes charges. She makes all the hustle plays. Um, and so with her stepping up on the offensive end, it's really given Shanice that support. Ashley coming in and being able to give us minutes at the post. Anna Strickland coming in. Um, I mean, she had 17 and 18 today. Um, you know, really doing well on the glass. Um, but I think this year, the big difference for us has been Taylor Jefferson. You know, she's really stepped up at the point guard spot and become a leader on and off the floor. And I was so pleased to, do, to see TJ on the bench so enthusiastic for her teammates because Taylor's one of these kids she wants to play every minute out there she wants it but to see her so happy for her teammates and su in support of them and understanding why we didn't play certain people today mm -hmm. has shown the growth that this team has had. Well coach I'm not gonna bother you about the any more time and all the day but uh, is there anything else you can think of that I hadn't asked up to this point uh, in the season before uh, HBU Huskies uh, bas wins basketball? Um, I don't think so. The only thing is, we're really excited about our twenty fifteen class that that is coming in, um, and we'll talk about that when it's time. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> I know it's you know it's, that's always a source of contention with some coaches. Sometimes you can talk about it, and sometimes you can't. But All uh, right. <laughs> but once they get that, that, that pen to the to the paper, then we we'll we'll have a long conversation. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. All right. This is Jerry Lee Willie Jr. College Sports Report. I'm in the office of. Coach Donna Finney, the head women's basketball coach of the HBU Huskies women's basketball.